today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today, I have a lot going on. We're gonna hook up the dump trailer, head back to Virginia and get the rest of those sycamore logs. There should be about four or five more of those. Then we're gonna come back here and saw up some more hard maple. I think it's spotted, so it should be a pretty good log. And what's that noise? All right, it's the helicopters. I was hoping they'd fly over again today. See if I can get the video camera here and show you guys what I'm looking at. We've been having some uh, military helicopters fly over the sawmill for the past day or so. All right, guys, those things are huge. I tell you what, when they come over the sawmill, it rattles everything. I'm not sure what's going on, but over here, Behind this mountain, there's a National Guard base. So uh, we see a lot of helicopters fly over, but never ones of that size. I think it's called a Schnook. Is that the right name for those? A Schnook helicopter? I may be totally wrong about that. I'm probably butchering the name of them. I think that's what it is. So anyways, guys, let's get going. Let's grab the chainsaw, hook up the duck trailer, and head over to Virginia. All right, guys, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now, Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of learning. If you have a skill out there you've been wanting to learn, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning. This is a good opportunity to invest in yourself and your personal growth. When I went on Skillshare's website, the first thing that I did was seek out a class that would help me with my video making skills, and I felt one taught by Jordy, which is actually the same software that I use to make the video you're watching right now, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also meet like-minded people and join a diverse community. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So once again, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. On the sawmill today, friends, we have some more hard maple. This is spotted just a little. I squared up this log last night before I called it a day, and it should produce some really nice boards. We're doing five quarter on the thickness or width. Looks like about 10 inches wide. 
the height of our cant is eight and a half inches. We should get some really good boards out of this. It's spotted just a little on the sapwood here on the outside. Once we start getting down to the heartwood and the juvenile wood, I really doubt we'll see that spotting keep going, but you never know. You never know with logs, guys, you never know. As on the sawmill today, I'm running the Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you're interested in those blades, his number's down in the video description. Hit him up and he will give you some nice blades or he'll sell you some nice blades. I doubt he'll give them to you. But uh, friends, with a Super 70 wide head and a 55 horsepower diesel pushing this mill and a brand new Silver Tip Turbo 7 on there, it's deadly. I mean, it is deadly sharp and the amount of torque going through that blade because this mill is just ridiculous. And that brings me to my point. A lot of people ask me why I saw so slow with this mill since it's such a capable mill. I mean, it's the biggest mobile saw mill that Woodbizer makes. It's the most capable one with the strongest motor and the biggest, longest blade. And the reason I go slow is two reasons. Number one, I like to enjoy my day. I'm not a production sawmill. I'm not up here trying to bust out 3,000 board feet a day. I like to enjoy my day and I enjoy sawing. So that's one reason right there. But I like to go fast enough though to where it doesn't affect my sawing. If you go too slow, you may have some bad boards with a lot of ripple on them. So I like to find that happy medium between enjoying my day and sawing at a decent speed and going fast enough to where you get the benefits of this mill. And the second reason is I'm running all these cameras on this sawmill, friends. I've got two cameras over here. I've got the one I'm talking to. And I usually put a GoPro and attach it to the mill somewhere different every time. Now, since I've got all that going on, I'm always watching these cameras, making sure I'm getting the shots that I want to show you guys later on. So that's another reason I go a little bit slower. Now, when I'm up here sawing like last night and there's no cameras going, I go a lot faster. So that's the reason I go kind of slow. This mill, friends, will fly. That's a deadly sharp blade on there. This mill is highly capable of pushing out, you know, with off bears, two to 3,000 board feet a day easily if you've got somebody off bearing and loading your logs on for you. It's a very capable mill, friends. I love this saw mill. I just don't push it as hard as some people do. And, uh, that's why, if they think I'm going slow, that's the reason.